Marcus has taken up the double bass in junior high, and he needs to practice. But these things are hard to lug around, and they cost a lot to rent. So we're going to try and make one of our own of the electric variety. After doing a lot of research, we decided to buy a fingerboard instead of trying to build a fingerboard because it was going to be hard to get the right materials to build one. But we found this on Amazon. After looking at a lot of places and only finding stuff that would have to wait for weeks to import from Japan or from China. Marcus, <laughs> how do you feel about what you look like? <laughs> Could you be any more disengaged? <laughs> okay, now I can start talking. Please you leave this in. So Marcus is like the epitome of not excited about this project apparently. Okay, it starts with laminating some pieces of wood. I can't remember what kind of wood it is. I want to say it's, well, it's some kind of mahogany. Hard. This may make us seasick watching this at 500 <laughs> speed. It's better than watching like five hours of video. Yeah. Then we need to joint the mahogany. So we can laminate it. <laughs> Who's getting their fingers in the camera? I Thanks, Kyle. Thank you. Get them off of camera. And you have to manually, manually hold the hose <laughs> into it. Yeah, we should improve our dust extraction somehow. Oh, those are big words. I like it. And then we're gluing. So With credit not, card. Okay. Just mahogany, clearly that's a piece of maple, too. Guys, if you ever want to glue something, use your old credit card. Or just <laughs> use your parents without wanting help. <laughs> Don't use these ones, they're expired. I'm saying don't try and do credit card fraud by freezing the screen is what I'm trying to say. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. Supposed Supposed to be out of luck. Big sticky mess. Oh, I don't know, but this thing lots of credit. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a very big Napoleon. Thank you. Thank Not very tasty though. <laughs> what is on the screen now? I have no idea. Kyle's sure. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle's not, <laughs> Kyle's not doing the camera. Okay, I you are. I think that's you. I think it was actually mom. Maybe it's think, mom. It does seem you. incredibly still. still. Hey! <laughs> and then we clamped the woods together. Nope. So, yeah, I'm um, glad we turned that to the it right. could So that it could stay together when the glue dries. Pretty cool close up shot. Incredibly thick piece, and yet it still ended up kind of too short and not wide. Well, it was plenty wide enough, it wasn't deep enough to do the kind of headstock we wanted. Someone needs to vacuum the. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of sawdust in that. That's what Aaron is doing right there. <clears throat> What is going on with this? Now you're shaping it? No, oh, we're just making a flat edge. Trying to make sure it's square to the sides. Which yeah, was kind of a pain in the neck. It was not wanting to square up. <laughs> pain oh. in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Didn't even need it. <sighs> then we needed to make a template. Because building guitars is all about building templates. Especially out of whatever this kind of wood is. Check out the volute on that thing. That's pretty crazy. We're going to have. 
have to put some music behind this, guys. We decided to put carbon rod channels. <coughs> I don't think they're necessary at all for that thick of a neck, but we decided to anyway. Because we weren't putting a truss rod in, but we build electric guitars, so we think that way. So we put carbon rods in. We always wanted to last. Even if the neck starts to. Epoxy is fun. Back to cutting the templates. Cutting templates that is was, actually fun. We don't need to see guys. my knees. We need to blur out those knees. <laughs> <laughs> Pixelate them. Just so you know, guys, cutting of templates are very fun to do. Cutting templates are fun to do, fun to do, fun to do. Cutting templates are fun to do. And as you can see, there's something hanging off the top of the spindle sander. Yeah, that's the piece of sandpaper. That is a thick neck, man. That was hard to cut. That's like testing the limits of the bandsaw, I think. Well. It's it even harder to do this. It was hard to cut, but routing it... Goodness me, we the template was great, but that thing was so darn thick. We used like our biggest bits. Well, Hopefully I... videos will, you know, use more tripod in the future. So they're a little less shaky. Well it also me it it also <laughs> might be half of it. Is it's sped up a lot. Well, yeah, so. it just uh, accentuates the Shake. choice of camera direction. Well, does, that's a big does bit. this machine help us with um, making all our rough edges so that it will feel more smooth? Yep, it tries to make it exact. Back to the bandsaw. And now okay. this thing gets a little bit thinner. <laughs> but look at the pretty striation in it. It is pretty good looking laminated. It's a good close-up We can shot. make a base neck out of one of the um, Lala things we just claimed. Yeah. Hopefully That was a mistake. Hopefully we shouldn't have done that to the headstock. It chipped out. Hopefully later today we'll do we'll use um and put in the broccoli tuners. This one has broccoli tuners. Let's go! <laughs> I want you to spam the comments broccoli tuners. It's making me hungry for broccoli. I don't think we have any. I'm not sure what uh, what we're even doing here. Oh, we're shaping. <laughs> We're shaping the neck. With the, uh, with what, the belt sander. What, uh, with a less effective way of shaping. <laughs> Shape is a, a hmm. D? C? I would call it a U. A U? A U profile. Ridiculously thick. Oh, there we go. That's the real way to shape. Uh, there go. Forget the fun. belt sander. It wasn't fun. Because yeah, we don't that. have that new... Uh... Hey, no spoilers. We'll get to that in future episodes. This is so the less effective way of doing it, though. There's better ways. Stay tuned. Maybe we'll do a video about it. But we've done a few this way, and it works. Kicks up a lot of dust. <clears throat> Keep the hey, dust Aaron. Up. Oh, never mind. I was thinking, thinking Aaron is wearing Marcus's mask. That's Marcus. Never mind. <laughs> I do wear it in the future. <laughs> now we are drilling for bolts because we wanted to have it actually 
be able to come apart. Now we're cutting tuner holes. That's that was me! Drilling the bolts. Woohoo! Yes, you are helping to drill those holes. And still, with the headstock being that huge, it was still kind of too small for the tuners. We got giant tuners, but you know. The giants. Upright <laughs> base tuners are giant, so it's all good. The ginormous broccoli tuners! And, and you know what? I think it's actually raining outside right in that. Looks like it's cold at least. Yeah. And now we are profiling that portion of the headstock so it looks a little better. It's a pretty decent tilt back headstock. Pretty soon I think we're going to be sanding it so that it won't feel as grainy on the sides. Do you think so? Are talking about now yeah, or in the I video? Think so. <laughs> I think that was the sanding. <laughs> okay. Now, when we there's going to be a horrible sound that scared me when I was screwing in these lag bolts. Using high glue to glue on the fingerboard, turned out that batch of high glue that we used wasn't quite right <laughs> as we watched the neck fall off. <laughs> was... we, we watched the fingerboard fall off what, a, a few weeks later. At least I did. <laughs> and we ended up re-gluing it. But the second <laughs> attempt at high glue works just fine. This one, not so much. Still, we go, um, we glue the um, thing and clamp <laughs> the piece a piece of wood to it so that the glue will keep on the piece of wood so and it will um dry with the piece of wood so that it won't come off yeah unless the high glue isn't done right then it will come off <laughs> there we go now marcus is invested in this well what's the word actually interacting with it yeah there we go That's a tall neck. This is a full scale, 41 inch scale length. Boy, the back of that neck isn't looking too hot yet. Still needs some more shaping. This was scary. So we roughed, we rough uh, cut the neck and then we actually used the fingerboard as the template to shape finish shaping the neck which it's a little crazy because it's a radius crazy you can't really keep the router straight but it worked and it's also a hundred dollar fretboard so don't want to mess that up yeah you don't want to mess that up what are we working on now what is that tailpiece it's the nut the nut <coughs> what like i was just around. gonna say which I think is out of rosewood. It's whatever we had sitting around. I mean, it looks like rosewood. And we just totally did it by guessing, kind of doing a backwards taper and then gluing it on. More glue! Woohoo! Hopefully, this time it won't fall off. That didn't fall off. That's okay. Now we're doing more shaping. And sanding. There's the sanding you're talking about, Kyle. I knew it. We used lacquer for the front of the headstock. On our porch. Just so we could put a decal on it. Just so you know, the smell of lacquer it illuminates me. I love the smell of lacquer. I don't understand you are loving the smell of lacquer. It's nasty. I think. But here's our decal being placed. Well, go. And Jasper has a name. Jasper. It's Jasper. Yeah. <laughs> Jasper has a name. It's Jasper. I thought it was Keith. <laughs> it's Keith. <laughs> oh, Jasper's nickname is now Keith. 
I could see accidentally tripping over it. <laughs> <laughs> Mark is actually in his thighs. And we're ripping the tape off. So fun what to do. Would have been more satisfying if it... Ripping tape off is fun to do, fun, fun to do, do fun, fun to do. do. Ripping tape, tape off is fun, fun to do, do early in the morning. It's probably not in the morning, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. no. Then we used... This yeah. is polymerized tongue oil. The most official orchestral bases don't have finish on the back so we decided to put tongue, tongue oil on it anyway yeah back there look at me because doing my homework we're rebels and we're electric people <laughs> and i'm doing my homework and fingerboard oil on the, finger the fingerboard <laughs> Good that's <place> ironic <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah that was an accident i was pretty sad about dinging that that's when we were trying to use the drill press as an arbor to press in those darn the tuning bushings and it didn't work well. Those tuning bushings were a pain. Broccoli tuners! <clears throat> Broccoli <clears throat> tuners! I want you guys to comment down below a million times. Broccoli so tuners! So we'll try and press them in that way. We'll try and press them in that way. Oopsie. And it works! No, it doesn't. It doesn't? Did you guys have to... That's why I walk away. And then we try and press them in this way. And that's how we damage it! How <laughs> we damage it! Did it work this time? Not really. I don't remember how I finally... I think I've just made the hole a little bit bigger, finally. But... <laughs> that's what I wanted to do today. Don't break the screws. Don't strip them. Oh, that's, that's a the... good idea. Actually use something to protect it. <laughs> <laughs> Whose idea was that? Yours, <laughs> probably mine, but... You know, as we're going through these um, videos, I'm seeing the shirts we're wearing, and it's like, I don't know. They're like the best shirts we could have worn during yeah. this part <laughs> of the thing. It does make sense, doesn't it? Needs guitars. Once! <clears throat> Everybody needs an electric upright bass. <laughs> yeah, it took Especially a long time. Bases. So if you guys... Oh, you actually have had an order for both. <laughs> so if you guys want one, uh, it will probably take like a lot of months. We've got a lead time of at least three months, I would say. Probably. Nice. And we've got enough broccoli tuners of that variety to make one more, I think. Because those are actually two sizes of broccoli tuners because the, they were so gigantic. We used shorter ones for the top. Oh, oh, oh. And this is so appropriate for this. Um, during Ooh. this, so I got, a, I got a joke for y'all. Well, it's not really a joke. There's no answer. But good bassists. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> and stay tuned for part two where we actually attach that to a body. Ba -ba 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 -ba.